This right here is three sealed EPBs, not ETBs, Elite Pokey Box. Every month for the past two and a half years, I've been getting one of these shipped to me directly in the mail, or I picked them up at their location in Manville, New Jersey. This is actually the last three months of EPBs. I'm so far behind in my videos and my editing that I haven't had a chance to open these up. So today we're gonna open up all three of these EPBs. And if you don't know what this is, if you're first time here on the channel, XP Collect will ship you one of these boxes right here every single month. It'll contain eight random assorted modern packs, a one in 10 chance at pulling a graded card, a guarantee that you will receive at least one graded card every 12 months, custom vinyl sticker sheet every single month, and a custom pin exclusive for members only. And right now I'm actually working on finishing my pin collection, so I'm super stoked to open these last three boxes and fill up the last three spots in my pin display. Your monthly membership also gets you access to the Tribe Shop, which has incredible deals on Pokemon products, some of the lowest that you'll find. If you guys want to check this out or become a member, get access to insanely low prices on the Tribe Shop and save even more by using code FANGANG at the checkout for an additional 5% off and it also helps to support the channel like i said guys i am a paying member of this now for 30 months I paid for all three of these boxes actually working on that i would like to be able to get one for free give one back to somebody here in the fan gang i think that would be pretty awesome but today we're going to be catching up in the last three months of my elite pokebox subscription now that we've gone over what this is you may still not know who i am so if you're new here my name is pokey fang and welcome to the fan gang and uh I honestly, I don't know what order they came in, so it's gonna be all over the place, all over the place. So here we go, Elite Pokey Box, one, two, and three. I probably should have marked these in some sort of way so I knew what month they actually came in in what order. So we're probably gonna be opening these a little bit out of order, but these are the Elite Pokey Boxes that have come out in the last three months since the last one that I opened, which I think was in November. We're gonna go ahead and get right into this because this is one of my favorite things to look forward to every month. But obviously work comes up, life comes up, guys. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I cannot support uh, my my life uh, off of just YouTube. Uh, but you know, between the day job and getting the other content videos out, uh, this is the best that I can do. Looks like they have redesigned the inside of the boxes because this is brand new. So I wonder if the other three boxes are gonna be like this as well. This is join us live on Drip. First time buyers on our live get $15 off. Scan the code below to redeem. Guys, there you go, right there. Scan that code, head over to Drip, uh, check out XP Collect and save $15. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how that works. I haven't tried it yet, but best of luck, give it a shot. So here's our monthly pin. And I don't remember, there's different rarities for these. Maybe I'll put it, put it up on the screen. But every month I get a custom pin. I've been adding these to a really nice pin collection display. They say XP Collect on the back. These are custom pins for the membership. You cannot get these anywhere else in the world. These are not Pokemon bulk pins from people tearing apart boxes and things like that that you would get in like a, a random sort of crappy, you know, Walgreens mystery box. <laughs> this is something that an artist created specifically for the Elite Pokebox. Same goes for these stickers and i don't know what rarity this is i feel like the white ones do have a specific rarity and like i said i'll throw it up on the screen so you guys know what's up but here we go we have a some really nice i guess this was february's box maybe because we got all this love stuff here it's looking very valentine's day ish with the jigglypuff sylveon we got the vulpix and the pikachu and the love ball right there as well so i'm guessing this was probably the february box so uh, I do think that means we're opening them out of order. I don't see a slab in this one, uh, but you can see the rules right there at the bottom of the box. Eight booster packs, one vial sticker sheet, one, uh, one in 10 chance of getting mystery slab, one pull rate pin and access to the members only store. And let me tell you guys, the members only store is where it's at. The tribe shop, as we all know it in the, in the tribe, uh, has the best deals. And uh, that's a $10 a month uh, membership if you just want access to the tribe shop, but it's included if you are an elite Pokebox subscriber. So you don't have to pay extra for that. That's coming with the actual membership here. Love that they do the purple in here. I love when I find my fellow purple uh, fans. All right, here we go. Paldean Fates this is what we got this month. Obsidian Flames, a lost origin. Okay, cool. We're still getting some sword and shield in here. You got Silver Tempest, Paradox Rift, another Paradox Rift. Scarlet and Violet Base and a Paldea Evolved. Paradox Rift and Paldea Evolved are two of my favorites, probably underrated sets from um, the uh, Scarlet and Violet era. 
But let's go ahead and get into this Silver Tempest. See if we can pull uh, something crazy here. Code card going out to Fangang. Wow, this feels so crazy because I have not done a Scarlet or a uh, sorry Sword and Shield pack in so long. Seeing this V-Star marker actually feels like a throwback already, which feels nuts to say because it was literally just like a year ago. But just feels like with all these sets coming out, it feels like it was so long ago to be seeing these yellow borders. Stunfisk Reverse. Ah, and a Zero Aura. Which is kind of crazy because I think that code card looked like a good code card, but maybe, I'm, maybe I was wrong. All right, here we go. Code card going out to the Fangang. As always in my videos, if you're new here and you didn't know that, uh, always giving out the codes for the free, especially the ones coming from these boxes right here, because this community, the Elite Pokey Box Tribe, is also always about giving back, same as the Fang Gang here on the channel. So doubling up on the generosity, you know that we have to be giving out the code cards. Squovit, Phalanx, Barbarical, and a non-hollow. So let's go Scarlet and Violet base first. And the best thing about opening Scarlet and Violet era packs is that there is always a chance at getting special illustration rares. They're in every single set. And we didn't have alternate arts, the equivalent of a special illustration rare or an illustration rare for the first half of Sword and Shield, I feel like. Uh, so we get that right off the rip with Scarlet and Violet. That's why it's a great, great expansion to open up. Um, what am I doing here? Yes, we are, and we are in Scarlet and Violet. Okay, so we can get the energy. We can go with Psychic. Punchy's energy. We're gonna do the pack trick on these because we have a lot of boxes to open. So we're gonna go three to the front, Slowpoke, Reverse, Mastiff, Reverse, and a Dondozo Hollow. City and Flames has a Charizard. The Charizard that I have pulled, and it has been pretty easy to pull for, for me, at least my experience, compared to the one in Paldean Fates, which I seem to not be able to pull at all. We got Punchy's Energy three times in a row. Three times in a row. We got the Punchy's Energy. <laughs> Forgot to do it. Spoink, Rowlet, and an Entei. Yikes. All right, striking off, striking off, striking out. I don't know what striking off is. Don't Google it. That's all I'll say. Uh, I don't know what that is. Striking out so far. <laughs> all right, here we go. Psychic Energy. Oh, man, all right, at least it's not Punchy's again. Three to the front. Going in to the Deli Bird reverse, followed by a Love Disc. Wow, that Deli Bird feels weird. Feels like it has texture. And a Glamora non hollow, followed by a Glimit. Interesting. Paradox Rift, one of my favorites. Two more boxes to open after this. Code card going out. Psychic Energy finally. Darkness. All right, one, two, three. Not having that same predict predicting luck, clairvoyance that I usually have. Iron Jugulus, Reverse, and a Steelix. Man, where are the hits in these? The struggle is so real right now with this month's EPB, with the February box. We still got two other ones here. I don't know what months those are for, from. I'm wondering if I'll be able to figure it out just by looking at it. I don't know why I just flipped the energy without even guessing it. Would not have guessed crass energy though, so I would have gotten it wrong either way. Zubats, Gimme Ghoul, let's go. Illustration rare. First hit, not bad. This is a two-part mural card that has a, um, what's the name, Golden Go, standing right over top of him. That takes up the other half of the card. So we got one hit out of this box so far, and it's an illustration rare. Hopefully this Paldean Fates can turn things around with a really nice baby shiny Pikachu, maybe. A nice bubble Mew illustration rare, or special illustration rare. A nice Charizard special illustration rare. Let's slow roll it for this one. Oh wait, did I do the uh, energy? No, I did not, metal energy. Grass again. Lots of doubles. I did say Pikachu. This is not the Pikachu that we're looking for though. Grievered, Chinchou, Woobat, come on, here we go, here we go. Charmeleon. Crisis Punch. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? I can't believe that just happened to me. Scraggy. And a Heat Rodom. Of everything we could have just pulled, we got Wiggly Tuft again. That is a disgrace. Second box. We got the, the Blastoise pin. 
we got to find my knife and open this thing up. See here, there we go. Boom. Ah, so this was maybe January then, because this one does not have the new insides. We do have some really nice artworks. Hold on a second here. Let's take a look at this sticker collection here. We got the Cayuga and Groudon. We got the Snorlax, the Kingler with the crown, the Gyarados and the Magikarps. I love these XP Collect stickers. These are, these are vinyl guys in case I didn't notice that or didn't notice that. In case I didn't mention that, these are vinyl. So they're not the paper type that get all stuck on everything. This is an adorable pin right here. This is next level. Look at that, Latios and Latias in the sunset. That is some really nice artwork right there. Love the gold edges on this one, uh, but that's really nice. And with the nice little XP collect right there on the back, adding this to the pin collection. At the end, set me out aside for now. Looks like we did not get a slab in this box either. We did get a slab pretty recently, so I'm not actually expecting to see one again so soon. Check out what kind of packs we got the month before this one, apparently, because it, we're opening these out of order. Paladea Evolve, Silver Tempest, Scarlet and Violet. Oh, these are those weird error ones. Look how green this is. I think um, Pokerev or somebody posted about this. There's these like weird error prints that went out of Scarlet and Violet base where they have just the, the coloring is just super green. For some reason, we got Astral Radiance, Paradox, Paradox, Obsidian, Lost Origin. Let's see what we got here from Lost Origin. Could we finally be pulling the Giratina? How sick would that be? One, two, three, four to the front. Psychic Energy. Punchies again. The punchies kind of day, I guess. Torkoal, Harizu, Sudowoodo, Love Disc, Gligar, Wormpool, Rhyhorn, Arcphone and a Drapion V-Star. I really don't open much Sword and Shield anymore. I think the prices are starting to go up uh, on those. So if you do have sealed stuff, I mean, good for you, because I do think the prices are going to seriously start rising soon as we get to the latter half of Scarlet and the Violet. We'll start to see uh, Sword and Shield get treated a little bit like Sun and Moon was treated throughout Sword and Shield, or it was a little bit, you know, it was whatever for a while and then it started to blow up right towards the end. It, 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 everybody started to realize like, it's not gonna get reprinted and it's kind of over. Um, Hisuian Voltorb, Hisuian Basculin, and a Mamoswine. Come on, Silver Tempest, can we get the Lugia? Can we get the Lugia? That was really hard to open for some reason. Oh, code card, Gonads of the Fange. Accidentally pulled a Dragonair. Two, three, four to the front. We have Metal Energy, didn't guess it. Fantastic, doing great, doing great. Being the best YouTuber of all time right now, just not messing up at all. <laughs> Smeargle, Litten, Petalil, Togedemaro, Reverse, and a Keldeo. Man, we're striking out today on the Sword and Shield packs. That is for sure. We are fusion striking out. Crazy, we're not seeing any fusion strike anymore for a long time. I feel like Fusion Strike was everywhere. Finally, it's Scarlet and Violet Packs, so then we're gonna go Psychic Energy. Punchies is where it's at today. One, two, three to the front. This is how we're gonna do the rest of these. Floatzel, Viper, and a King Gambit Hollow. Obsidian Flames. So guys, those of you who do not know, uh, I have been opening these boxes on the channel now for over two years. I think the last episode that I put out was 27. So it was the 27th box that I opened. We're doing three more now. So we're, we're talking about 30. Next month will be 31. 31 months strong in the Elite Pokebox tribe. I've gotten so many slabs over the years. If you want, you can go back and check out the videos. Uh, if you search Elite Pokebox Pokefang, you probably found all of my videos. I've been posting them for a really long time. Um, since before a lot of other people really talking about them. So that's always fun because I think I rank high for the searches on these. Um, that's just a great example of you're a PokeTuber and you're trying to grow, just commit to something and stick with it for a long time and uh, something will happen. Let's see guys, water, nope, fire energy, making some steam. Three to the fronts, I'm rambling. Let's get through these packs. 
Fungus, Tynamo, Scissor, Hollow. Man, we are not doing so great on these two months boxes, but that is the name of the game, guys. Every single time you open up a pack, you are taking a $4 gamble, essentially. There we go. Code card going out to the fan gang. No gambles necessary with the code cards, though. Go ahead and scan those. Those are for you guys. Have fun. Uh, Psychic, finally. Yes. We got to do it. There we go. All right, we're back. We're back in business now. One, two, three to the front. We got the Psychic Energy. The good luck ghosties are on our side. Delibird. Tadbulb. Ah, Dragon. Maybe it's in the next pack. Maybe it's a sign it's the next pack. Two packs left. Paradox Rift in both of them. So this, yeah, this box definitely must have come out before Paldane Fates. There was no Pal Fate, Paldane Fates in this box. Uh, we're going to go Darkness. Yes. I love when they're back to back like that. Crushing it. Okay. Uh, no. Doing impact tricks. It feels thick. That card felt thick. I don't know why. Charcadet. Oricario. And a Lokix. Not, I don't know why, but it does actually. That Lokix does feel like thicker than the rest. Uh, Paradox Rift again. And then we're getting into our last box over here. Here we go. And like I said, guys, if you do want to check out Leap Pokey Box, I mean, I just knocked out potentially three boxes without a slab in it. So your chances are maybe a little bit higher now than they were before. I don't know if that's how it works or not. I do know that you are guaranteed one uh, at least once every 12 months, uh, but there's a one in 10 chance that you will get one each month. So uh, three of my boxes were not in that one in 10. So let's see what we've got here. Um, water energy. Darkness again, doubling up on the darkness. Here we go. What was I saying? Did I just lose my train of thought entirely? I think I did. I was gonna say, if you guys wanna check these out, make sure to use code FANGANG at the checkout at ElitePokeBox.com for a choreo and a feeble. Last box, last chance. This could make up for everything else so far if it just has one insane uh, banger on there. By the way, I got this little thing right here off of like Timu, it's pretty amazing. Got a little blade in there and then it snaps back so you never stab yourself. Pretty epic. Uh, it's nice and compact. It's not like a huge blade that's going to destroy everything in its pathway. Whoa, okay. This is interesting. We actually have an artist tagged down at the bottom there. Make sure to head over to X. Check out Joshua underscore wave S for this artwork style. If you guys are into this, maybe they have commission work. I don't know. I don't know who they are, but I do really like this art style, especially like that uh, Pokedex right there and this Master Ball. These are pretty nice stickers here. Again, all vinyl. We've got, whoa, we got a really sort of trippy looking Venusaur right here. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. Looks super aggressive. I don't know if I would mess with that Venusaur. That's gonna go in the pin collection. Again, no uh, no slab this month, but I do know that they just packed next month's boxes. So I will be doing these better on schedule moving forward, I hope anyway. Um, so we did do three today, but go ahead and scan that code. You also will probably see me in those drip streams. So if you ever wanted to chat with me outside of the comment section down below, which I'm happy to chat with anybody who wants to down there, you can also find me in most XP Collect drip streams and the TikTok streams. I will typically hop in there a little bit, buy some packs. Uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we've got two Paradox Rifts, two Obsidian, Silver Tempest, two of those, and a Paldea Evolved. So let's do them in this order, I think. Let's do them like this. All right, we'll get Sword and Shield out of the way so I can keep my bulk nice and separated. Let's see an alt art today. Code card going out to the fan gang. One, two, three, four to the front. We'll slow roll this last box here. Grass energy, forgot to do it because we switched up. Candice, Behem, Urgency Jelly, Metatite, Dewpiter, Ponyta, Venonat, Ralts, Unidentified Fossil. Come on, come on, Silver Tempest. Alolan Volt. I'll take it, I'll take it. We'll sleeve it. We will sleeve it and we're gonna put it right there. All right, guys, I also have some really interesting ideas for content coming up soon that is not going to be ripping packs. I know I mentioned a couple of things in the past in my videos. Only a few people have been really keeping up with 
some of those ideas that I have. But uh, I want to let you guys know that they are going to be coming to fruition very soon. Hopefully sort of like a podcast format content on this channel very soon as well. Uh, maybe some guests from within the community and from, you know, the YouTube and the Instagram sphere in terms of content creators. That would be really fun to do. Tell them, just talk about TCG, what's coming up, what's been in the past, you know, all that kind of stuff. Veneri, oh, and Red Drago, V-Star, two V-Star hits out of all of these. Okay, Scarlet and Wild, let's do it. Let's get through these last couple packs here, guys. And then I'm actually really looking forward to next month's box already because I'm hoping maybe there will be a slab in there. Possibly, maybe. We got a Pokeball reverse and a cloth because apparently I did the pack trick wrong. And that's the energy. And that is our first reverse, the Vivalon. I don't know how I did that, but I definitely messed up the pack trick. Actually, I do know how I did that. I did that because I didn't get the energy. And that happens because I sometimes am not so smart. Sometimes am not so smart. Okay. This time though, we're gonna guess it. And it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be psychic. No. Darkness. Well, if I didn't say psychic, I was gonna go with metal energy. So I was wrong either way. But we got Skarmory. Bro. Are you for real right now? The gold Charizard EX from Obsidian Flames. Dang, the hyper rare. That is beautiful. Dang. Okay, well, that's nice. That's a nice pull right there. I'll take that. I do think like we did see that also in a regular full art version. And I think there was a promo in the Charizard box that was not the same Charizard. I think it might have the same moves, but it's a different artwork, I think. There we go, probably evolved the code card going out to the fan gang. We've got Psychic, no, Drip Energy. Make sure to use that code that was in the box. I don't really know much about that. I didn't know that was coming, or otherwise I would have let you guys know, give you a heads up. Tropius, Pineco, oops. And a Hariyama, regular hollow. Somehow I managed to shuffle those around wrong. Usually I like to open the sets kind of together, but that's all right. Code card going to Fang Gang. Psychic again. Oh, punchies. One, two, three to the front. Audino. This last box absolutely slaps. This is the special illustration rare. I actually really like this artwork. I think the I think because it's Obsidian Flames, this probably isn't worth a whole bunch, but I really, really like this artwork. And a lot of the artworks in this set, there we go, in a Glamora EX, which I think we also got in Paldean Fates in a shiny, that same artwork. It looks very familiar. I could be wrong. Man, it's like, what's not to like about this card? Look at the colors. I don't know. I think so many people are sleeping on the modern right now. So many people are sleeping on Scarlet and Violet Era. Scarlet and Violet Era. All right, here we go. Code card going out to the fan gang. This code card is a thick boy. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's compensating for hits. That means that there's not gonna be hits. If there is gonna be hits, I don't know. I don't know how they do the code cards anymore. It's all different. Nimble, reverse, iron jugulus. I did it again. Didn't do the energy. Pokefang, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Iron jugulus, punchy, of course it was punchy energy. Had to be. And a pan sage reverse was what was in that pack. All right, last pack here, guys. Smash the luck button. We can get some, something crazy, some kind of special illustration right here out of this last one to make this last box absolutely slap like no other. All right, we'll, we'll slow roll this one. And we're gonna not, we're not gonna skip the energy on this one. It's gonna be psychic, it has to be in the last pack. No, drip energy. Tandem mouse. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope I was hoping for some some bigger hits. Uh, I had a feeling I wasn't gonna get any slabs in these boxes though, because I have gotten them pretty recently. It'll probably be another couple boxes before we see another one. Snorlax, Doll, Brew Bonnet Reverse, A Palm. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Smash the luck button. Do the things. Do the YouTube things. Thank you so much for sticking around. Open up packs with me, guys. Really appreciate it. 
Velocipod EX. All right, guys, these are gonna be my favorite two hits from today's video, the Charizard EX Gold and the Special Illustration Rare Ice Q. But anyway, thanks for sticking around, open up packs with me, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button on the way out. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, happy haunting, Fang Gang.